the media industry um, is a forward-thinking industry in a lot of ways, um, but, but backwards-looking when it comes to something that you have tackled, which is uh, female leadership. Um, there, is, there is no public company CEO in the US that's a woman in the media industry, none. Um, there's only 24 in the S&P 500 overall, so 5%. <laughs> but you are a, uh, of the, uh, obviously a very capable CEO in your own right, but happen to be a woman. So how do you think about that as a uh, mantra for leading the industry overall that you're part of? Yeah, so the easy answer, which is the truthful answer, is that I, I am very lucky. I, I wasn't raised in a household where we were thinking about uh, who we were in terms of our sexuality. Like the female issue was never an issue for me. I never felt it. It's only recently that, I, that I've started feeling it because it's so much part of the conversation. Uh, but Venezuela, you know, Venezuela in the 80s was a, was a really forward-thinking place. We were the country that had the most female CEOs per capita in the world. Uh, and these were women that still felt that they could be beautiful and have children and be really good at their jobs. There was no compromising in the way that there was with women in the 80s in the U.S. That's like a, that was like a fundamental difference. So th that's, that's, a Venez that's the household where I was raised. Um, I do think, uh, I don't think the future is female. I think... Uh, the present is female. And, and I think if, if we keep thinking that it's a matter of the future, the change is not going to happen quick enough. And I think it's our responsibility, not us, the women, like our responsibility collectively, everybody who's here, to make sure that we're pushing so that that present is female. Um, you know, I, I am so often the only lady in the room. And my friend Alexis, who's here, is also often the only lady in the room, and Kara and Lisa. Uh, so thank you for coming to keep me company. <laughs> and uh, so people love, the guys love to come and talk to us to say, hey, you know, because you're a woman, let's talk about this issue. And I'm like, no, because you're a guy, you should talk about this issue. The issue starts with you, not with us, right? Um, so it's, uh, we all need to be, we all collectively need to be very proactive because women are prepared, they're graduating, they're working, they're there, they're available, they want it, uh, and, and we just have to make sure that we pave the way so they can have equal opportunity.